Hi, I'm Jay from x -Rite. Today we'll be unboxing an i1 Pro 3. The i1 Pro 3 is the latest iteration of our i1 Pro family. It replaces the i1 Pro 2, which came out about eight years ago. The i1 Pro 3 is a standard aperture version, where the i1 Pro 3 Plus is a large aperture version. Today we're going to unbox an i1 Pro 3 Publish. There's three versions of the i1 Pro 3. The i1 Pro 3 Publish, the i1 Pro 3 Photo, and the i1 Pro 3 Basic. The Publish is the, the most expensive and fully licensed version. As you look at the box, uh, there's a full size, actual size picture of the i1 Pro 3, along with all the serial numbers and UPC codes, catalog numbers, and all that stuff. On the back of the box, there's icons for what's included, all the included accessories, etc. On this edge of the box, there's actually icons for the licensing for this version. In this case, there's licenses for everything. Uh, if you look at the front of the box, you can also see that it has uh, RGB and CMYK stripes on it. That means that this version is licensed for both RGB and CMYK uh, profiling. The box has a sleeve on it. When you pull the sleeve off, you get to the white package box, which is a standard uh, clamshell box, which holds our... Uh, what we call our hard case. It's actually uh, rigid foam with a beautiful i1 logo. The case unzips to reveal what's inside. There's a divider in the middle that separates the, some of the accessories from, from the rest of the accessories and the device itself. You'll notice that there's rigid foam slots for each accessory, so they have their, their, their place. First off is the device itself, the i1 Pro 3. Next to it is the calibration plaque. The calibration plaque slides open to protect the, the tile itself. Uh, on this plaque we've upgraded a little bit. There's two screw holes in it uh, that you can use to, to uh, drill mount with drywall screws or whatever the calibration plaque to a fixed position so it doesn't uh, disappear in your shop, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have a targeting aid for it as well, sometimes called a frog. The targeting aid slips into the slot on the back of the device. This one's been upgraded as well. Uh, it's got a, a little mouse here on it, so as you're trying to move it around to do spot measurements, it's a little easier to control. We have a display holder for the device, and this has a weighted sandbag on it. The display holder is used to uh, attach to laptops, uh, computer monitors, etc. And then it just hangs, simply hangs over uh, on, on the monitor for measurement. Pretty cool. Uh, there's also what we call our beamer or our tripod mount for the device. Uh, the beamer slips into the back port, same as the other devices, but you'd use it if you were uh, trying to calibrate a projector from a distance or a monitor from a distance. <sighs> Slides in and out like that. There's also an ambient diffuser in a, in a protective case. The ambient diffuser is used to diffuse ambient light. It goes right on the device like that. Um, so if you want to measure uh, ambient light with it, that's, that's what you'd use. Also in this side of the case is a, a USB cable. On the other side of the case, we have our aluminum ruler that would be used for uh, scan measurements. Drop the device right there and just scan across your, your pages. This ruler is different than the i1 Pro 2 ruler. Uh, it, it has different geometry on, the, on the, the plastic lip here. So you must use this ruler with an i1 Pro 3 to get correct measurements. If you switch your rulers, your measurements are going to be wrong. So don't use an i1 Pro 2 ruler with an i1 Pro 3. Don't use an i1 Pro 3 ruler with an i1 Pro 2. Also in this side of the case is our white backer. This is an ISO compliant white backer clipboard uh, that you'd put your, your scanning targets on with your ruler and the device and scan, 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 etc. And paper targets clip right into the top of this right there. Also on this side is the certificate of performance. This has all the, the good information about when your device was manufactured, the serial number, inner instrument agreement, all that great stuff. There's a software download sheet in here as well. We don't have include a CD in this case, but we do include the software download sheet 
it points you to xrite.com slash get i1 profiler for the latest version of i1 profiler. There is a printed quick start guide in several languages. The, pr the quick start guide is also available digitally on xrite.com. The last accessories in here are the color checkers. There's a color checker classic mini. There's a color checker proof as well as an OBC or an optical brightener, brightener mask for the, for the color checker proof. So thank you. This was the unpacking of an i1 Pro 3. Again, our latest generation of i1 Pro device. And uh, I'm Jay from X-Rite.